Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about whether thrifting for fabric is worth it. Let's get into it. My two most recent videos to have blown up are one, I did a Facebook marketplace thrift store and small Joann's haul and that video was posted about a month ago and has over a thousand views. The second video is about uh, just Joann's haul with cotton flannel that has over 100 views and is posted two weeks ago. That being said, it seems that people are very interested in hauls and I want to show that uh, whether or not for you, thrifting is worth it. So I went to the thrift store. I found this gem right here. This is typically how thrifted fabrics come. They come in like a uh, old uh, comforter or a bed sheet bag. Like this is how I've seen it the most. And then the prices vary. What I like about this is that then you could just open the zipper, touch the fabric and feel what it is. Generally, they are not marked of what fabric they are. So you simply have to go by touch. And then I also like to open a couple pieces to see are they all torn up and uh, cut into random pieces or are they pretty whole pieces. So this bag right here was $10. So I went ahead and I already measured how much each piece is and then um, so I could calculate how much fabric was in this bag. So let's quick do a re uh, let's quickly do a haul for me to show you what's in the bag here. And they were not folded this nicely. I did this. Um, sometimes the fabric is treated nicely at the thrift store. Sometimes it's just a mangled mess. Uh, this was all right, but I folded it nicer. Okay, I'm trying to see where the start of my pile was, but it's right here. So the first piece is this, and these are all cotton flannel, which I got very lucky. So this is a workout uh, animals is what I call it. So I have two different measurements for a lot of them. Um, whoever had this fabric, like cut this same weird piece out of a lot of the fabrics. So I counted this piece here this piece as one and then I counted this piece right here so for this one we have uh, with a fabric by 36 inches which is a yard and then 10 inches by 36 next is the elephants so this guy we've got with a fabric by 56 and then 8 inches by 12 uh, so for the first one and so I'm making reusable towels I have videos of that down below um, reusable towels are one of my most popular items and that's mostly what I'll be turning this product into. So for the first fabric I can make 1.5 towels, that last fabric I can make 2.5 sets of towels. Uh, next up is Pirates of the Caribbean which is this one. There is with a fabric by 25 inches and 8 inches by 24. I can make one uh, set of towels. This cat and dogs there's with a fabric by 42 and then 10 inches by 12, so I can make 1.5. This PB and J, this is with a fabric by 94 inches and eight inches by 12, so I can make 3.5 sets. Uh, this, no, not this one, this one right here. This green love one is what I called it, uh, with a fabric by 46 and then mermaids. We've got width of fabric by 69 and 8 inches by 24. Brown flower, we've got width of fabric by 76 inches, so that's three sets of towels. This brown flower, uh, width of fabric by 144, which is six sets of towels. Hedgehogs, width of fabric by 36 inches, which is 1.5 sets of towels. And then this last piece here, this green love, which is width of fabric by 104 inches. So in total, there are 11 cuts of fabric. Two of them are duplicates, uh, like the brown flowers, like it's two pieces. Uh, in total, I can make 28.5 sets of towels. And then if you want to know the total, so I'm not counting the 10 by 36 or eight by 12, none of those smaller pieces, just with a fabric by a measurement. There's 728 inches of fabric. So on uh, Joann's, I went up and I saw 
what is the current price of cotton flannel today or the other day when I uh, measured this and it was on sale for $3.99 a yard I believe it's normally $7.99 uh, I'll have it on the screen if I'm wrong and 20 yards of that 728 is 728 inches is 20 yards uh, so 20 yards is $79 and 80 cents uh, regular price is $159 and 80 cents and this bag only cost me $10 so you be the judge on whether cost wise thrifting is worth it uh, I'll also put a uh, screenshot here of the um, percentage off I believe it's like 80% off or something like something crazy because of how cheap it is um, especially if it was full price 159 versus $10 that's significantly cheaper. So not only is the cost a great factor, it is so much cheaper to thrift fabric than to buy it at the store. Now the problem, the cons behind thrifting for the fabrics is that supply and demand. I don't go to the thrift store just to shop for fabric. For me, when I want to go, uh, when I'm, what am I trying to say? I only go to the thrift store when I'm around that area and when I have time. And so then I'll go in with the expectation that there's no fabric. And I don't settle. I don't buy bed sheets. I don't buy curtains. I buy only fabric. So when I go in, I go in with the expectation that there's going to be none. And then I walk around trying to find, find the fabric. If they have it, like I said, I try to open it, to touch it, to feel what it is. And normally I buy everything that's there. Because sometimes there's like three or four, sometimes there's one, it just depends. And then, so this is a uh, con because if you need to make a project, the fabric's not going to just be there for you. You cannot go in with the expectation that you're going to find fabric. I'll go two or three months of going into the thrift store and not finding anything. That's why when you do find it, you need to buy it. Uh, that being said, it's not like when you randomly walk in and buy it, you're spending a ton of money. The most I've ever spent, which was like a huge haul, I'll have it linked. I can't remember if it was like 50 or or $100, but it was like $1,000 worth of fabric. It was insane. It was so much fabric. That's where I have like so much of my base fabric, which I finally started working through. Um, but it was so nice to get a stash and to start working on it. Now the con to thrifting for fabric is because it's so significantly cheaper, like for example, so $10, there's 11 cuts of fabric. Let's say there's 10. That means each one of these cuts of fabric is $1. So if this costs me $1, I can try and make a product that I've never made before. And if I screw it up, I won't be heartbroken because it wasn't $10 a yard. You know, fabric at Joann's is so expensive and it makes me so nervous sometimes to just try something out and try something new. Now, also for sustainability, the fact that even if the fabrics at the thrift store are from Joann's or a major retailer, the fact that they are, the idea behind the sustainability is that they're already out in the world, they're already in production, you're not buying them off the shelf supporting your dollar and having more come what i mean by this is like for example water bottles if you go into walmart and buy water bottles because they're on the shelf you're showing that you like that product and that you want that product to be restocked same thing for the fabric if you go into joann's and buy that fabric you're showing joann's that you want that fabric and you're supporting it with your dollar which means that it will be restocked so if you do not go into the major retailer and you buy it from the thrift store, which it's already in cycle, it's already in uh, the environment, then you are not supporting that with your dollar. It's, I know it's indirect, but that's the idea behind it. Um, and like I said, I'm finding fabric. I'm not finding bed sheets or anything like that. So if you are opposed to the idea of thrifting because you think it's gross, uh, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, I mean, it depends, like you could smell it, make sure it doesn't come from a smoker's home or that it has a lot of dog hair or cat hair on it, something like that. Like if it's physically gross, then I get that, don't buy it. But most fabrics, you could just throw them in the washing machine and they're just as good as new. And like I said, if you want to just use them as your prototype, just to try things out, that's a great idea too. Uh, so don't always think that you have to go to the major retailer to go buy fabric. I highly recommend uh, shopping at the thrift stores, uh, but I would love to hear your opinion. What are your pros and cons behind shopping at the thrift store? Do you think it's a great idea? Do you think it's gross? Let me know what you think. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.